This is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com and this video we are going to show you how to create a RAID 1 configuration using the Perk H200 controller. Um, so the H200 controller does support RAID 0, 1, or 10, um, but RAID 1 is the most popular configuration that you're going to see, um, mainly because it, it what it does is it mirrors two identical drives. So for example, if you have two 300 gig drives, you're going to end up having uh, just under 300 gig native um, backed up. So if one drive fails, um, you can still use your server until you have time to replace that failed drive. So it has one drive redundancy, um, which is kind of nice. Uh, and it's very popular for small business servers or servers that would utilize this H200 RAID controller. Um, so let's get to our actual uh, configuration. Um, now, this RAID controller is used on multiple kind of lower end power edge servers, um, like the R210, R310. Um, you can even see it on like the power edge R710, 610, um, and, and, and it's very popular to create RAID 1 with this config. So the first thing we're gonna do is go into post uh, after we've obviously installed two identical drives. And then we're gonna hit control C to invoke the SAS configuration utility. And if you look, it actually says six gigabit per second SAS controller. It doesn't say H200 here. But once we get into the utility, uh, as you can see here, it says Perk H200A. So go ahead and hit enter on that Perk H200A, and then arrow down to RAID properties. All right. So then you're going to hit enter on create RAID one volume. And again, you do need two identical drives before you can do this. Otherwise it won't give you the option to create the RAID. So arrow over to RAID disk and then hit space bar on drive or on slot number zero, then arrow down to slot number one and hit space bar again. So you, you see we've created a primary and secondary drive. Then we'll hit C to create the RAID utility. And then we're gonna go and hit save changes and exit. And it is creating a RAID one volume and now we're going to go back into RAID properties just to verify that it did create our RAID 1. And as you can see, it did create it. Um, you'll see that under task, it says 0% initialized. So what we can do at this point is we're going to escape out of the utility and we're ready to load our operating system. Um, now, it, it is going to run a little bit slower than normal until we actually uh, finish or until it actually finishes uh, initializing the drives. Uh, but you can let that run in the background and uh, and load your operating system. And that's really all there is to it. So hopefully this uh, video was helpful to you. If it was, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment below and we'll be happy to try to, to try to answer those questions. Thank you so much for watching.